David, thank you, Prime Minister. As you are, you are going to see, we are very interested in your foreign uh, affair relations. I would like to, to tackle more or less the same issues, but uh, with more precise uh, tackle. How about the, your minor uh, disputes on cross-border uh, delimitation with China and some uh, concerning news about some uh, operations in the disputed uh, territory? And uh, the other issue is, do you have or do you recover or do you regain your full uh, foreign uh, policy uh, sovereignty in a, in a very recent year after this uh, not so usual uh, uh, framework in which uh, India was charged uh, in part to, to take care of your foreign relations? How, do, how did you disengage uh, from India and create your own foreign policy? Thank you. Um, thank you very much. I think these are all related. Uh, I know it is being covered in many different ways uh, on uh, the dialogues that we have been having, Bhutan is having, having with China on border uh, uh, issues. I wouldn't even like to qualify at an issue. We have some sections of uh, the boundaries between the two countries that is not identified as the landmark. The landmarks are not clearly delineated or identified. So if you consider that as dispute, I will leave it there. But we, between the two countries, do not have any major issues. Of course, we need to sit down, physically identify, put the pecs between North and South, in, uh, China and Bhutan, and be agreeable on that. On that, we have had a couple of rounds of talks on this. The latest one was a month back that uh, Bhutanese delegation went up to China. They agreed on certain steps and, 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 and procedures to follow. Uh, what we are waiting for now is the Chinese uh, uh, delegation to come visit us. And then once we finalize that, the last bit will be to uh, physically del delineate the, the, the boundary between the two countries. Until now, we have had no issues, and I don't think there should be any issues on this. Of course, um, uh, my answer will not be complete if I uh, do not mention on the disputed tri-junction doglam issue that many of you may have heard. That is the point where uh, Bhutan, southwest, southeast, India, uh, southwest, and uh, northern side China, the three countries meet at that point. That needs to be sorted out, and on that, Bhutan has only one-third say on that since we are one of the three countries joining on that point. So we'll have to wait and see all three parties will have to agree on an understanding. So rest, uh, bilateral issues, we do not have any issues. The borders that we have with India is uh, roughly about 750 kilometers, which we don't have any issues. Every single meter is identified and pegged. Uh, we could not, as I said, do that with uh, the northern, uh, uh, northern border, which we are going to do it. So that's my answer. Thank you. Uh, Yes, um, the second part, the foreign policy part. Uh, I, think, I think this is, uh, I'm a doctor, I'm a urologist by profession, so sorry if I'm not uh, being very diplomatic, uh, I'm so not so used to it. This is my fourth year in politics and fourth year in governance. And uh, uh, since um, uh, as a surgeon, I've, uh, be, I've been trained to cut straight, so I'll cut straight. Um, you can take you from a developmental milestone of a child. A child grows, a child learns how to take first few steps and falls down and then learns how to walk and run and then um, learns to talk and then slowly uh, go on to be a full-fledged individual. So for Bhutan, we are so grateful to all our neighbors, all the well-meaning partners in the world, similarly to India guided us, supported us, and we are still receiving a lot of uh, technical support, a lot of monetary support from them. And in 2007, we revised our understanding with them that as we grow, they are happy to let us run around and be a grown, upgrown individual now. So I think it's just the milestone uh, of a good exemplary relation between the giant and the small neighbor. So we are happy with whatever is happening. And in 2008 onwards, His Majesty the King, the fourth king, we have the fifth king on the throne currently, but the fourth king enforced upon us that the form of government be changed. So since 2008, we had a full-fledged democratically elected government in place. I'm the third democratically elected uh, prime minister. 
which as many of you may not know that his majesty the king went round the country talking to people about how we should be able to vote for a party that we want to uh, we want uh, the country to be governed by and all of us including myself objected on that we were so happy we still are happy with the monarchy that we used to have but his majesty the king did not listen to us he wanted a democratically elected government and currently his majesty the king is guiding the success of democracy in bhutan so uh, if if it interests you you may like to find more details on this since the chair is not going to allow me to elaborate on this i'll leave it here thank you very much for your question sir